time girl. Oh, you can That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, music started from the music started spiritual from, church. From spiritual church. Yes, yeah, yeah. so we used to go to cultural center, and then um, some form of our practices. We used to get up at the dawn and go from house to house with, with conga and maracas playing. You know, and then people just throw money on us. <laughs> so that's how I started actually. Right. Yeah. And then um, when I got to 16, there about um, I realized that is something that uh, I can do as a career. Yeah. And then my father didn't want it, but I had my way. So. Um, I struggled and uh, I did my first album at age 17. Uh, that was the album that has Odof, 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 No, 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 no. That no, was, no. Really? The, the one was my third album actually. How come? How come that was the one that people know, and not the first two? Yeah, because the first two, even though they were gospel, but um, me as usual, I had always wanted to do something unique. Okay. So the lyrical content was gospel, but the the groove was not gospel. So people couldn't accept it as gospel. Okay. You know. So I did first one, second one, and the third one I, I went a little bit in the middle. Okay. So it's got gospel lyrical but, content. But the third one was the, the one, that one was the one that brought me the light. Broke, broke, yes. broke the eyes. Broke the eyes. And what that was the said, title of that, that one? Our Epa. Our Epa. Yeah. That was a high life album. That was a high life album. Proper. It has uh, some serious tracks on it. Yes. Rudolf von Ehwein. Rudolf von Ehwein. That was yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Say stage where only legend, and I say, you who say we are legend in the making now. You don't come on this stage, and this is a legend, ladies and gentlemen. No long talk. Munshishi club beer non fengu glass in the move. Ewoho, ewoho. As we welcome. A legendary high life musician. Oh goodness. One and only. Uh, he has one song that I loved so much. Rex Oma! Good morning, everybody. Afio, pamwe sela. Afio, pamwe sela. You go de make I die, pata 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 pata. Afio, I say you freak me. Pamwe sela. Go they make I die, pata 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 pata. Make you close the door, turn off the light, oh, and make I undress you. Tonight be the night, just me and you. Oh, oh sugar, sugar, mama, come and quench my thirst with your lipstick, and I go be sati. Come take my honey for your love. Honey for your love. Take my honey for your love. Honey for your love. Come take my honey for your love. You be the only one who fit and me on. No. Come take my honey for your love. Honey for your love. Take my honey for your love.
Initially, I had a difficulty in accepting mm -hmm. what high life was, but mm -hmm. then later on, I realized that perhaps every Ghanaian traditional Ghanaian music mm -hmm. can be called high life because if you listen to the Kim Bruce mm -hmm. and then Uhuru and uh, Ramblers, uh, E.T. Mensa style of music, compared to somebody like uh, Kakeku mm -hmm. or Nanam Pedu mm -hmm. or uh, some of the guitar band highlight people, and then they are two different types of music, but they are all high life. Yes, you know. Then, what about the Konimo? Okay, they, what, there's as well. You know, what, 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 what about the Bobobos and the Agbajas? Yeah, how do you call them? If they are all high life, then it means high life is a broad kind of music. So, to me, my understanding to high life is any traditional Ghanaian music right. can be called high life because yes. it is very, very broad. We cannot restrict ourselves to some three chords and uh, call it a genre. Okay. So that is what I believe. So high life is a big thing? It's a, be a very big thing. How does, you are a high life musician? I am. You are? I am, yes. What makes your music high life? Um, you know, it's Ghanaian roots. Mm. Um, if you listen to, I think my singing alone, it's it take, take every, every <laughs> instrumental from it, my singing alone is high life. Because yeah. no matter what it is, yeah. I sing as a high life artist. Yeah. I, I do fusion sometimes. For example, Abiba. Mm. Abiba, the fusion came about because I went to clubs and I realized that our music is not being played in the club. So the question is, why is our music not being played in the club? Okay. And then I asked a lot of DJs and they were saying that, oh, it's because uh, it's not punchy. Okay. So I said, okay. Beating in Shedan. Beating in Shedan. Yeah. I said, okay. So then I will, I will program a hip hop, okay. sing it in high life, yeah. and bring some Suku's guitar to it. Make it in high Make life. it in high life, and then yeah. it worked.
Life has gone even beyond Ghana. High mm. life um, has always been. I mean, now some of the African artists. I mean, you listen to Yusun do songs. Some of them has high life. Has high life in them. Mm. Salif Keita plays high life. Mm. Africa, oh, Africa, eh, da, da, da. it's a high life song. Yeah, you know. And then you listen to a lot of uh, the Nigerians. I mean, not for Nigerians, we are brothers. So mm. when even during um, the earlier. Earlier, earlier days of high life, Nigerians were playing it, and mm. then um, Sierra Leoneans were also playing it. Okay. Um, they all learned it from Ghana. Even Fela came to stay in Ghana, based on what they told me. Fela came to used to stay in Ghana to study high life, and then after that, he went to create his own kind of high life that he called it um, um, Afrobeat. You know. Uh, Rex, I think that we need to go and check the food out, and when we come back, I ask you a very, very serious question: whether we can hold claim or Ghanaians can hold claim to the fact that her life is ours. Let's go and get it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. No, let's go and get it <laughs> and come back. All right. <laughs> Everything is here, right? Okay. You see, she coco coco tatali on her. There are soups there. This is the lady behind wow. all these properties. Very wonderful. Un unbelievable. We're, think, we're, 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 we're thinking of the correct pronunciation of the restaurant. What's the correct pronunciation of the name? Asmara. 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 Okay. It's Ethiopian language. Oh, Asmara. right. This is the what? meaning is harvest. Harvest, okay. Oh.
Absolutely. It's still Ghanaian. It's still Ghanaian, very much so. Um, you know, everybody knows that even the Nigerians who, who, who were playing High Life mm. those days, Rex Lawson, mm. uh, Victor Waifu, and all mm. these people, they used to come to Ghana, mm. you know. Uh, and, you know, we are Nigerians, and they're, they're, I mean, the Anglophone Africa, mm. we kind of intertwine, you know. Mm. So everybody knows the fact that um, High Life. It's a Ghanaian stuff. Yeah. The only sad aspect of what is happening now is um, we seem to be leaving it for other people to run with it. Mm. And, and that's why I'm happy that club has decided to support High Life. And mm. I think that um, it's about time that the High Life um, gurus must wake up to it. Mm. So it's about time that uh, corporate Ghana wakes up to it and the um, government wakes up to it because that is what we are. If we say we're promoting our, promoting our music, mm. We should have a deliberate shows, mm. deliberate stuff that is high life centered, mm. you know. For example, I know that even um, my father told me that during um, um, uh, Osage Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's time, mm. anytime he was traveling, he traveled with some high life musicians. Yeah. He didn't do it just by that, like that. He did it to promote our culture, mm. you know. So there are so many things that we need to do. I am not saying that the youth shouldn't play other other genres of music. Mm. But as you feel, what is us is us. You know, so as much as we want to promote other people's um, culture, we should at least be a little bit selfish to promote ours first. Mm. You know, let us praise what praises are due. I mean, you, you have high life gurus like Pat Thomas, um, Jewel Aka, mm. uh, Jedouble Ambuli, uh, Amanziba, Amachi did they name them? You know, these are people who 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 actually uh, established our high life. And Nanam Pedu, mm. or Boba J. Adolfo, I, I I can't finish. I mean, George Darko Dems, and now even the youth. Some of them are also trying to do high life, and we should en encourage them. You know, so it is a clear fact that Ghana, we are high life is in our blood. Yeah, as much as, as much as we want to run away from it. Yeah. That is what we are. We can't run away from ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we better claim what we are and, and project it. Okay. I cannot run away from myself. I think I'll light the banco and they'll push too. <laughs> Robina, 
What's your take on club life? The whole event and I think it, comes it, it, I think it's a step in the right direction yeah. because um, when 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 I heard the word club life, mm. I saw I saw a banner, you know, I, the billboard, the billboard in town. So I was asking myself, what is this? I mean, um, I didn't know it was related to music. Okay. I didn't know. I, was, I thought the, maybe they were releasing a new product called Club, Club Life. So okay. it came to my mind that wow, okay. Until I, I, I was called that wow. How to perform on Club Life. How to perform on Club Life. And mm -hmm. I said wow, okay. So when, when, when I heard that actually you were zeroing in in perform, promoting high life or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a step in the right direction. I, I yeah. think that I will uh, give a. Uh, Kudos to yeah. club for for this initiative, and I, I think that it should, they should they should do more. The high life gurus didn't go along with the youth, mm -hmm. so the youth they didn't, they didn't see themselves. They didn't see themselves with high life. Okay. So it got to a point, high life was disconnected from the youth, mm. and you know most of the brands will want to associate with youth. Okay. So when the youth decided to play different genres of music, the brands decided, the brands to, decided to follow them, and then high life was disconnected. Okay. So it's about time that the high life gurus brings the youth along, and that's why I'm very happy that people like Bisa and all these guys are trying to do high life, yeah. and they need to to learn more about high life because to play good high life, you have to be their musician. Sexy, 
Let your group your bow. 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 It's bright and bleak. I think the politicians must also play their role. I mean, you cannot um, develop a country and leave a major aspect of the country. I mean, if you come to the entertainment or creative industry, it employs a whole lot of youth. Yeah. And because of our psyche, I don't know where we got this psyche from, that, oh, bam boy, so uh, we, we're comedians here. Mm. Um, uh, we have this kind of negative 
mentality in relation to people who are into music. That's why your father didn't want you to do music. Exactly. And then it got to a point, even when I was getting married, my, my, my wife's parents, oh, na bamboy, you beat me up. That kind of mentality is still there. You know, so we have to change that mentality and then understand that God didn't create all of us to become lawyers and doctors and whatever. He also created some of us to be artists, painters, entertainers, you know. So as a country, if we want to develop, as much money we put into sports, especially football, we should also put some in, in, in creative industry, Wonderful. you know, because some people are born to be poets, yeah. writers, comedians. They are all part and parcel of our society. So we cannot neglect that aspect of our development and still we want to create jobs. How do you create jobs? You know, so that is why if the, a, a, a state Ghana will invest in our creative industry, then high life or the future of our high life music will be, will be, will be very bright. But if we continue the way we're going, then um, I don't see how. I had a million for you. We're sure. From your point of view. Every true artist mm. should be very humble. Yeah. But when you sit down and you look at people who have contributed to make you who you are, yeah. you can't you can't be you can't be proud because you know that other people's contribution, no matter how little or how big it is, it has come together to make you. Mm. It's an interesting um, um, area to be. I, w I wouldn't choose any other profession if I have to come back. Yeah, is your father alive? No, he is not. Uh, do you think he would have been proud of him today? He was before he died, and that's the most, very most important yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I was able to prove him wrong. wrong. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. I like you. I like your music. I like club beer. And I, I like the food. That is legendary Rexoma on top. <laughs> Club Live will be right back. At Club Live, you get to enjoy great high life music by old and new musicians, legends, 
as well as great musicians in the making. This is where you get to enjoy real high life music with some of the talented bands of our time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Club Life. <laughs> I said I don't limit you, myself. You do a you lot know, of things. I do a lot of your, your, like, your When you listen to my um, Thanksgiving album, mm. for instance, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I was teaching the material of yeah. music. Oh, yeah. As well as singing. Welcome back. within me already. Okay. Before I go to the church. For you, you, you if you don't um, have the talent discover yourself mm. of something you can push ahead and do it. So it was like I knew the music was in me. Because my father was uh, playing guitar when we were young. But he didn't commercialize it. Kunodu also discovered me when I was in a sand to mine. Wow. Yes. I mean, I didn't know he visited that time right. during entertainment times when I could entertain my, my, myself alone, could entertain the whole school. 
So that time when I, uh, I, I tried to receive the two papers I was talking about, mm. his keyboard is left him. Wow. Can I do? Yes. So wanting to go to the tour of the northern region, mm. he came to see me to uh, take them there. As a keyboardist? As a keyboardist. Wow. So I went with the Kuladu's band. Ah. And that was how I started my music career. So you could sing at the same, time. At the same time. Wow. Mm -hmm. So when when did you decide to like go solo and do my own and thing? But I passed through so many hands. Like after after the Johnson, to Azuri, mm -hmm. we were in Accra. Mm -hmm. So we traveled down to Kumasi mm -hmm. to form Sinzano Dominos, mm -hmm. down to Waza Africa. Mm -hmm. Then I left for Nigeria to play mm -hmm. Sony Ade. You I played was, for Sony Ade? Yes, I was his keyboardist also. Wow. I did two albums with him. A fefe ye ye and a rafu. Wow. Yes. So after some year day, uh, I made up my mind I was going so. That was when you decided to release your own album. album. Yes. Your first album. My first album. That was uh, her life for me. <laughs> White rice and uh, white rice and stew for you yesterday. yesterday. In the eighties, so today we we're making jollof. Oh, okay, uh, uh, some fried rice and things. And right. the all, all music is always remixes. It's never done again. Club beer is up to it, like promoting her life music, reviving it, making it stronger as our original kind of music because club is also Ghana's original beer. 
What is your take on this? Well, God bless them for helping uh, people with the high life. Yeah. The high life industry. industry, yeah. Why? Because uh, it's been a bit, a bit difficult mm -hmm. these days because people don't have money mm -hmm. engaging us for live shows. Mm -hmm. They go and take this uh, spinner, spinner thing. Because she's cheaper. It's cheaper. They do it. But you can never beat it when you do take that. the main person who sang the song is there yes, and you use him. So if they are in that direction, I think God What about their lyrics? They, they should try to tone it down a bit. What do you mean? They are they're saying explicit things. That's right. Mm -hmm. Which I just don't want to mention. So. Good to speak to you, Nana. We are very, we, we are very happy to have you on Club Live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Club Life. I said I don't limit you, myself. You do a you lot know, of things. Your, your, like, your when you listen to my um, Thanksgiving album, mm. for instance, yeah. Mm. I was teaching the material of yeah. music. Oh, yeah. As well as singing. Mm. 